Want to hear something wild? Hi, I'm Tom from X-Ray, the AI first workflow consultancy. Let's get building. That's not me. It's my voice, but it's not me. It's my AI voice clone and nobody can tell the difference. If AI can copy your voice this well, why are you still spending hours in front of a microphone recording voiceovers? You shouldn't be. With a good voice clone, you can generate hundreds of words in minutes. No recording booth, no retakes, no wasted time. Today, I'll show you how to create your own voice clone using one tool. You'll also learn the tricks that separate mediocre AI audio from professional quality narration that sounds completely human. Let's get started, or should I say, let's get started. So here's the app that I use to make my voice clone. It's called Eleven Labs. There are other similar apps out there, but Eleven Labs is one of the best available. They've got tools for all sorts of different use cases. You can generate speech from text, transcribe audio, transform one voice into another, or even isolate a voice from a noisy recording, among other options. And of course, you can create a copy of your own voice to use in all of these different contexts. If you want to create your own voice clone similar to mine, just go to their website and create an account. That link should be on your screen now, and you can also find it in the video description. It's important to note that I'm using one of their professional voice clones. For a professional voice clone, you'll need to subscribe to a creator plan or a higher tier. On the starter plan, you'll be limited to using the instant voice clone, which is a faster but lower fidelity way to create a copy of your voice. Once you're in Eleven Labs, just go to Voices and add a new voice. Then choose Professional Voice Clone. The app will then guide you through the process, but the most important thing is to be ready with at least 30 minutes of audio to use as training for the AI model. You're going to want this audio to be as clean and crisp as possible, so it makes for a good reference point. Don't do this. Don't do this. Just record normally. You'll want high quality recordings. No background noise, no added sound effects, and no additional okay. voices okay. that would like confuse that. the AI. For experienced content creators, this should be pretty simple. Just assemble some clips of raw audio from your recording sessions until you have at least half an hour of material. Also, it's important to note that you'll need to record yourself reading a brief message authorizing the creation of the voice clone. Naturally, Eleven Labs doesn't want anyone to use their product to imitate or impersonate other people without their consent. Once you've uploaded your samples, it can take up to a few hours to generate your voice clone. Once it's ready, you can select your voice clone in several different tools and contexts with Eleven Labs. You can select it in the text to speech panel to narrate any text that you enter into the provided field. You can use it with the voice changer if you want to transform someone else's audio recording into your voice. You can even load your voice into the audio native plugin to narrate the content on your website. But the simplest choice is the text to speech tool. It's very easy to get started with, and it's a great way to create some voiceover clips for your videos. Let's see it and hear it in action. All you have to do is choose your voice and model, enter some text to read out, and click the button to generate audio. I'll enter some sample text about X-Ray and our YouTube channel. Here's how it sounds. For more AI and automation updates every week, like this video and subscribe to the X-Ray Automation channel. Here, you'll learn how to do less mindless work every day by using automation software like Zapier and AI tools like Eleven Labs. Overall, it sounds great, but if you're not happy with the first attempt, you can click Regenerate to get another take on the same text for free. Every time you generate audio from text, you get two redos that won't consume additional credits. Each take will sound a little different, with variations in emphasis and emotion, so let's see how our first redo sounds. For more AI and automation updates every week, like this video and subscribe to the X-Ray Automation channel. Here, you'll learn how to do less mindless work every day by using automation software like Zapier and AI tools like Eleven Labs. Not bad, but I think I prefer the first version. When we're using the AI voice clone, we typically generate all three takes for each segment of text and cut and paste the best parts together. Note that if you change the text at all, even just one character, then you'll need to start again with a fresh generation that will consume additional credits. Are you looking for new ways to get AI and automation to do your work for you? Check out the X-Ray blog for hundreds of free tutorials. We'll show you how to use top tools like Eleven Labs, Zapier, OpenAI, Airtable, Softer, and more. And if you want to design a better way for your entire team to work, you can reach out to X-Ray to learn more about our professional services. We offer one-on-one -on -one hourly support for quick projects and education, as well as a long-term retainer for total workflow transformation. Just go to xray.tech to learn more and schedule a free call. We've helped organizations of all sizes to create a more meaningful workday. 
To get the best results when using Eleven Labs text-to-speech, there are three easy tips I'd recommend. First, be sure to play around with the settings on the right. Here, you can pick the voice you want to use. Your own voice clone will be available here, as well as several created by Eleven Labs. You can also choose the specific model you want to use to generate speech. Different models have different costs and capabilities, which are all explained in these summaries. Here, there are several settings to fine-tune the AI's output, speed, stability, similarity, and style exaggeration. You can adjust all of these to your liking, but I'd specifically recommend raising style exaggeration to about 5% or even just 3%. It helps a lot to make the narration more lively and human, and that's the setting I've been using to generate the audio you've heard in this video. And by the way, all of the voiceover in this video is generated by my voice clone. The only times you're hearing my real voice are when I'm on screen. My second tip is to avoid using very short snippets of text and make sure you can provide good context. You'll often use your voice clone to change a single line in audio that you've already recorded. And so you might be tempted to just generate the one line you want to change. But when the AI only has a few words to work from, it tends to be a bit flat. It doesn't know the context of the words, so it's like an actor that's not getting any direction. For instance, I'm just gonna give it this short snippet of text. That wouldn't be ideal. When it reads it off, it's fine, but there's really no expression there. Let's put that line in its proper context with a warning about how not to use Zapier. I wouldn't recommend using Zapier to sync two databases. Technically, it is possible to set it up, but you could easily end up creating an infinite loop that uses up all your monthly tasks in a single day. That wouldn't be ideal. The result is way better. That context lets the AI know how to shape its performance and give it some emotion. My third and final tip is to add performance cues in your text to influence the AI's output. There's nothing too tricky here. It's all pretty intuitive. If you want to emphasize a specific word, type it in all caps. That is not a good idea. If you want to add a pause, you can enter ellipses or make a new line. But when the voice clone only has a few words to work from, it tends to be a bit flat. And you can even change the spelling of words to influence the pronunciation. For instance, I often talk about an app called Zapier. Eleven Labs sometimes says Zapier instead of Zapier, which is actually a common mistake among real people too. You can build no-code automations with Zapier. To get the correct pronunciation, I'll usually just write it with an extra P. That makes it clear that the word should rhyme with happier. You can build no-code automations with Zapier. You can also upload a pronunciation dictionary instead to set specific rules for certain words, but that's a little more complicated. You can check out the links in this video's resources board to learn more about pronunciation dictionaries and text formatting. You'll find that in the description. If you follow these tips, adjusting your settings, providing context, and adding directions in your text, you'll find it much easier to generate excellent audio every time. With a voice clone from Eleven Labs, content creation becomes easier than ever. You can create hundreds of words in seconds, replicating your own voice for videos, podcasts, blog narrations, or anything else you want. Just go to Eleven Labs today to get started. If this video helped you out, like and subscribe to the channel for more AI and automation updates every single week. You can also find me and my company X-Ray by searching for X-Ray Automation on nearly every social media platform. For now, I've got to go. So until next time, find your focus and stay in flow.